<laughs> Hello, everyone. It's me, the Massage Expert, and welcome to the Massage Expert Wellness Lab, where we discuss the practices of massage and body work with motivation and education. We hope to improve your self-care needs, such as stress and pain management. Today in the Wellness Lab, we're going to be interviewing one of my best friends, former co-worker, and business partner. So subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you always stay updated to our news and our adventure on our business journey. So we have Deja Powell. How are you today, Deja? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing excellent. So are you excited to be here? Or are you a little bit nervous? What's going on? Nervous, excited, pumped, all of it. <laughs> here. So Today, we're going to be asking you some questions on some self-care needs, How you, um, what you do for that. We're going to be asking you some um, questions about yourself. And then also, we're going to be asking you some questions on massage and body work. So let's go ahead and begin. So tell me a little bit about yourself, Deja, and what do you want the viewers to know about you? All right. Well, my name is Deja. I'm currently a PE teacher right now but also like alfonso said i'm still working with him as well um i think that's <laughs> i graduated from winston salem state with my degree in exercise science minor in sports medicine so this is the field that i'm looking to work in for a very long time that's good to hear so you're saying that you're a pe teacher what got you interested in wanting to become a pe teacher um, I always wanted to coach. So in order to be like a coach, got to do PE, but I also love working with kids. I like making a difference with them as well. And um, I didn't know how, how big of a difference you can make in, you know, just a short little amount of time. But yeah, that was my main goal of becoming a teacher and it's worth it. And it's been working out so far. So. That's good to hear. So have you ever received a massage before? Yes, I've received quite a few. Quite okay. a few. Mm -hmm. Have you received any with the COVID-19 virus on the rise or being spread so far? No, not not during COVID-19, only because I work from home, so I don't really get out much. Um, so, but not since COVID-19. Okay. And so since you're stuck in the house, I do want to let you guys know and anybody else that's stuck in the house that my small business, Massage Expert LLC, does provide massage and body work services. My business is a mobile business, so I come to your place of home, residence, or work to provide the services for your convenience. And what is your perception on massage and body work with the COVID-19 virus on the rise? Do you think it's okay? Do you think it's not okay? What is your opinion on massage right now? I think massages are vital, especially for strange stress management and pain management. So during COVID-19, a lot of people are going through stress, through pandemic depression. Um, massages are a great way to relieve your stress. So I feel like they're very important. I just feel like you have to be in a facility or you do them from home. A lot of people are doing it from home. I have a lot of friends that have had massage, massage therapists come into their home and find a little secure place a good setup, sanitize, you know, things like that. And it does work. And I feel like it is needed. It, uh, it's also a medical practice. So if you're having, you know, if you have certain diseases that require you to have that pressure, it is important that you're still getting that, you know, getting those massages like you, you would need. To. And Massage Expert LLC, and with me being a licensed massage therapist in North Carolina, I am a medical massage practitioner. So I am able to assist people's pain, read a doctor's prescription and give the right techniques and skills and use them to get rid of any pain or discomfort on the body. I do follow the guidelines set by the um, COVID um, through the WHO organization. So I do have a mask. I do um, sanitize the table. I do wash my hands, sanitize the sheets, and I do educate my customers and my clients on the importance of making sure that you're staying protected, wearing your mask, and not spreading the virus. So how do you, Deja, stop the spread of the virus, and how do you protect yourself and others from the COVID-19 virus? So right now, I'm staying home, but when I do go out, I make sure I wear my mask, I wash my hands, 
frequently. Um, I have like the wet napkin wipes. So every time I go somewhere, touch something, I just make sure I'm washing my hands. If I go to the gas station and there's no gloves at the gas station, I try to find something to wrap around my hands with, you know, just those little small safety procedures, not only for myself, but for others too. So looking out for me and others. And that's the main thing. We also have to make sure that we don't spread the virus to other people because I do not recommend massage therapy for anybody that's 65 and older just because of the weak immune system and with the virus being so high and the case is so high, I don't want them to get affected for any reason or getting any type of infection or disease right now. So I do think they should hold off. But if you do deal with stress, pain, or have any type of medical issues, massage therapy can be safe. And let me know in the comment section on your perception of massaging body work with the COVID-19 virus. All um, feedback is um, welcome. All opinions will not be won't be taken out of contents because everybody has their opinion and all opinions and feedback will be respected. So Deja, you told me that you graduated. What was the school that you graduated from again? Oh, Winston-Salem State. Winston-Salem State. Mm -hmm. So what is your school mascots? The Rams. The Rams. The Rams. Yes. I graduated from ECU, East Carolina uh, University. So, you know, we're all about the Pirates, the Purple and Gold. So why did you choose Winston-Salem State? Well, at first, I didn't know where I wanted to go. Actually, I wanted to go to Elizabeth City State. But all of my friends got accepted. It was like nine of us from my high school that got accepted. So I was like, I'm going to go here with my friends. So <laughs> that was one of the reasons why I chose. And also, it's a great, great university, a great HBCU. So I would make that choice a thousand times more. Good. <laughs> That's good to hear. And so what degree did you get from um, what's the same mistake? So my degree is in exercise science and a minor in sports medicine. Well, congratulations on that. Anybody that's trying to receive higher education or is getting education, higher education right now, continue um, pursuing that. I know it may be tough doing it online and with the COVID-19 virus, it can make things a little bit complicated, but continue doing it. Once you receive that degree, it is going to make a big difference. And I hope that you are kind of planning out your goals and what you want to achieve with your degree. So with your degree, why did you want to become a PE teacher? Why you didn't want to become a coach straight out the back or go work at a gym or go do something else? Why did you want to be a PE teacher? Because of my bigger goal. So my bigger goal is to be, you know, athletic director and have my own business. So I needed to get experience in that field in order to, you know, move up. So but but that's the reason, the main reason, the main goal. So what sports do you coach right now for your school? So right now we're on pause because of COVID-19. But if we were um, running as normal, I coach volleyball, basketball and track. Congratulations on that. So what is your favorite exercise for your volleyball team? Uh, wall sits. Wall sits. Wall Why sits. is that? Because they use their legs a lot and they got to be able to jump high, you know, over the net. So um, wall Ooh. sits. Yeah. Wall <laughs> sits. They got to use their legs. It's in their legs. Yeah. So wall sits for them. That's my favorite. They hate it, though. It's not yeah. their favorite, but... <laughs> All says they was worth the quads, sometimes worth those hams. So sports massage is definitely good service to release some of those tight muscles in those areas or get any of those knots out. Give me one second. So what is your favorite music to actually listen to when working out? It just depends on how I'm feeling that day. I can, yeah, it just depends on so rap music is something I like to listen to. But if I want to really focus, I kind of like to listen to instrumental music. Um, no words, so I can't really focus on what the words are saying. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because when I listen to music, I'm trying to focus on the words I'm singing and all this other stuff. But when I'm doing instrumental, it's just, yeah, I just hear the sounds and then I just keep, I can be, I'm more focused that way. So instrumental is my favorite. To hear. So, and, the, and that is actually some science and studies have been shown that when you're studying for tests, studying for information, listening to music with no words is the best way to retain the information. Just because, like she said, when you hear the music, the lyrics, you want to sing along, you want to rap, you want to do your crazy dance. So you have to listen to that inspir uh, intermit, inter, intermission, inter, 
Oh my God. <laughs> instrumental. <laughs> instrumental. Yeah, and, instrumental. You got it. And I play an instrument. <laughs> you have to listen to the music with the instruments <laughs> <laughs> to have you focus and to be have you um have your mind um in a nice position and nice and um calm, relaxed state. Any certifications or license that you have with your job or with you um graduating with your ex um exercise exercise science degree? So right now my certifications, I really need to update them. So right now that so right now they're out of date. But with that job, you do have to have your CPR certification. So that one is that one is up to date. But I do um have my EMS cert too. That okay. is the one that I have to update as well. So I um I used to be a certified EMT. So but in the last it expired last year, and I just haven't had enough time to go take my credit hours, you know, to get my hours in. Um, but hopefully this year I can get in there and do that. And so we'll help motivate you and keep you educated so that you can get that done. So leave any questions or com um, leave any comments in the comment section and um, in the comment section below so that we can help motivate her and make sure that she stay on task to get that done. For me, I am a licensed massage therapist in North Carolina. I'm also a certified medical massage practitioner. I do have my CPR and um, CPR and first aid certification. So we always have to make sure we have that updated working in um, healthcare facilities. What are some of your self-care routines that you practice for your body physically and emotionally? So emotionally, um, try to find like a quiet place to like just be to yourself, especially in the morning, morning time. Um, even if it's only for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, wake up find a space, sit there, walk outside in the morning. I do that every morning. I take my dogs for a walk every morning. Um, no music at that time, just listening to um, everything around me, being present in that moment. Um, that's also helped me with my focus as well. Other things that I do, of course, try to find space, even though I work out there in my classes because I'm teaching online, but still trying to find more time in order to do that. So right now, um, we go walking in the afternoons and then after that we find time to do a home workout uh, just for self-care. Also drinking more water. Um, I found some good sparkling water that's good as well if you like sparkling water. So I also do that as well. I also started joining a yoga class, yoga meditation class. I had my first one this week. It was awesome. It was amazing. So if you guys are into that kind of stuff, I would recommend recommend that for sure. I did a class with yoga for, um, for Addie. She's amazing, 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 amazing. And she also, um, she talks you through guided meditation for your first class. And then she tells you ways to, to practice it afterwards. And she gives you books and things like that. So it's very helpful. And I felt amazing after that session. So every week now that's going to be in my routine to do that once, once a week. So that's very, very important. And also trying to find ways to eat a balanced diet as well. Um, even though I'm working from home, I still have to schedule that time in, eat breakfast, eat um, a nice lunch, and then make sure you eat a, a great dinner as well. So, those are good things to hear, good tips, and good um, habits to follow, especially drink water. Water is a good way to keep the skin hydrated, good way to flush toxins out the body. Also, eating a healthy, balanced, um, balanced meals, making sure that you, if you're working out, getting that protein to help recover those muscles. Also, making sure that you're not consuming too much fat and getting the right nutrition and new um, vitamins and um, calories that you need. But also, the medicate meditation. I'm love the meditation. I'm actually going to be getting into meditation so I can help calm the mind. And like one of the things that you say is being present at the moment. And that's one thing that I struggle with is being present at the where I'm focusing on right now and always thinking ahead of time or thinking about the past. So that's something that I do want to focus on. And also shout out to Addie's Yoga. I'll be leaving a link in the description box so that y'all can check that out. Once again, leave any questions or feedback on my questions. That question is, what is your perception on massage and body work? Do you think it's OK? Do you not think it's OK? What are some protocols that you want to see actually go on if you was to receive a sweetest massage or deep tissue? Or what are some areas that you want to see some of these services at? So Deja, you're talking about water. What are some ways that you incorporate water so that you can constantly drink water throughout the day? So as soon as I wake up, I like to have a 
bottle of water uh, as soon as I wake up. That's the first thing, like wake up water. And I only reason why I like one reason why I like to do that is because I like to focus myself for the day. All right. So I feel the water. I feel it in my body. I'm here. I'm alive. Let's tackle the day. Um, so that's the first thing. And then throughout my throughout my day, I make sure I have my sparkling water, which I love, but I also have to have a jug of water. So <laughs> I have to hold myself accountable that way. So jug of water, have marks on it, saying how many times I drink it. Sometimes I can't get through a whole gallon a day, but I can get through four to five cans of sparkling water through a day. So, <laughs> so um, that's my daily routine. But I just have the reason why I like the sparkling water is because it gives it a little bit of flavor, just a little bit. Um, it's no calories or anything like that. Um, the reason why I started is because I try to wean myself off of water maybe like a year ago. So now all I drink is sparkling water, no juice, no soda, anything like that. The the sparkling water took over for that. Mineral water is good as well. So if you like, if you're, if you're water fans, I like all different types of water. <laughs> and that's good to hear. So on my YouTube channel at the massage expert wellness lab, we are actually going to be doing some videos on explaining the benefits of water. We also talk about some um, items like you was talking about mineral water. So we do talk about Epsom salt and how that was formed. So if you haven't seen that video, check out that video in the car above. It would take you straight to that video on Epsom salt and how you could use it. And Deja, do you use Epsom salt, apple cider vinegar, or aromatherapy in your self-care needs? Yes, I use all of those. So okay. Epsom salt is great. It works wonders, especially if you're sore. You know, I, I, I love to use that for that. Apple cider vinegar, I actually put it in my water. It's actually great for um, weight loss as well. So if you put it in a... Um, just put like a little capful in your water and drink it once a day in the morning. It actually help with your weight loss and your appetite as well. So it is awesome. You also can use apple cider vinegar on your face. I don't know if some people do. I use it on my face and I use it in my hair. So because oh, I have yeah, because I have locks, so I have to um, cleanse my hair. So I use apple cider vinegar for that as well. Yeah, I just use <laughs> I use all those things. <laughs> They're, they're I'm amazing. I'm going to have to have you come and do a video with me on apple cider vinegar and Epsom salt. So we definitely need to link up next time. And also shout out to Janae with her candle business and using aromatherapy. So yes. be able to work out with that as well and go support her as well. Go buy some candles. Aromatherapy is a good way to release stress off the body. Yes. And the scents help you physically and emotionally. And that's why I like the most because sometimes some of the pain is not physical but it's more emotional. So we have to also tap into that to release some stress off the body. Exactly. Especially like with the candles, um, having a light scent, like a real, real, like a lemony scent or eucalyptus or lavender scent, especially like during your massages, it can just, you know, it, it's a, it's a, a light smell, but it also, it's kind of like you said, aromatherapy. So those are the top scents. If you're looking for, you know, a way to focus, especially like if you like to read, Lighting a candle, you know, can help you focus and just set the, you know, the vibe and things like that. With Especially inter into intro instrumental music. There we go. Yeah. Intr instrumental music. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, music. Yes. Yes. It's it's it works wonders. Um. So yeah, we we will be dropping that link soon, so you guys can check that out as well. And I'll leave a link in my description box so that you can go check her out. Deja, with you being a PE teacher and working from home, how do you think my services may be able to help your coworkers, whether it be doing physical massages or actually educating them on YouTube? What do you think your coworkers will enjoy the most and how do you think they will uh, um, accept my services? Yes. Great question. So I think, especially with all of your YouTube videos, they have so much information in them. Um, I feel like uh, you educating people online on things they can do if they don't want to come out during COVID or, you know, things like that. It also helps because people don't understand how important massages are. And also um, you go door to door or you go mobile to mobile. And um, I feel like that's effective because we're sitting down all day at a desk all day. And, uh, you know, that can get you can get so much tension in your arms and things like that. So I feel like that would be so helpful. Or if they don't, you know, or if they don't want like an actual massage, you can teach them different techniques and different things they can do in order to um, 
you know, benefit their self and their wellness. Yeah, just like your website, you have stress management, massage therapy, you have aromatherapy, you have different types of videos that educate people. So, and the people need to see this type of thing, especially during this time. So I think that is really effective. Really, really effective. Massage is very effective. And I am trying, like I said, Massage Expert LLC. I'll leave a link to in the description box so that you can book a massage and get some information. But also, I am a mobile business, like I said, so I travel to your home, residence, or work. But I am trying to partner with O2 Fitness so that I can provide my services to them. I want to provide sports massage for pre and post workouts, and then also help with the stress relief by providing a Swedish massage for 30 minutes or 60 minutes, just depending on the time that they have for this. Another question on your self care tips. Do you like to work out in the morning, afternoon, or evening? For me, it's evening because during the day I'm moving as well. So the focus on me is in the evening time for me. And what do you find is the hardest self-care routine to follow? Working out is the working hardest. Out. Yeah, Why it's is the hardest. working out the hardest? Because you put it, you can put it off. It's like it's a mental. It's not really like a physical thing. It's a mental thing. I think working out. People look at working out more like, oh, it's going. What is it going to do to your body? But really, it's mental. Like it takes what twenty days to make a habit. So if you if you say, okay, well, I'm gonna go work out in the morning, and then you're like, oh, I got something to do. I can work out in the evening, and then the evening comes, you're not gonna work out. So it's really like a mental thing. So I, that's why I say that has to be the hardest. And for you guys at home, I do want to show you guys, you may think this is cheesy, but we do need to make sure that we do stop the spread of the virus. And one good way to do that is by washing your hands. And the good way is to make sure you use soap or some type of disinfectant on your hand. Make sure that you do wash your hands for 20 seconds and use hot water to kill the virus. So we are going to practice that today. So we are going to sing happy birthday to me, Alfonso, the massage expert because my birthday was last Tuesday, the 26th. So Deja, are you ready? So let's go ahead and grab our soap, put the soap on our hands. <laughs> let's lather it up, put it under the sink, and let's begin. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday This is so funny. Happy birthday, dear Alfonso and the massage expert. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. And then make sure you dry your hands with a nice sanitized um, towel or um, paper towel. So that's a good way to get off the germs off your hands. And like she was saying, we have to make sure that we train our uh, mind to make sure that we wash our hands. I know a lot of people go to the bathroom, handle food, and don't wash their hands. So we have to train our body and our mind to constantly wash our hands for a good 20 seconds and to make sure that we're all used to doing that with everything social media wise, making everything 15 seconds, 10 seconds, our attention span is not that long for us to maintain washing our hands for 20 seconds. So make sure that you do practice that. Last question for you, Deja. When do you want to schedule your first massage with the massage expert? I'm ready to schedule that now. I definitely need that. I need that in the next couple weeks, couple weeks. Couple couple weeks. weeks. Yes. So I'll definitely be reaching out to you. I'll get you signed up for that massage. And for my services, you can do it for 60 minutes, 90 minutes, or two hours. I am a mobile business, so I'm going to be coming to Deja's Eva home or place of business to perform the services. Any questions for me or comments or emotional outbursts? <laughs> this oh, is I love that laugh. <laughs> I can't wait. I just can't wait for the massage. I'm excited about that. Definitely overdue for that. Overdue. So if you're overdue, make sure you go ahead and go ahead and schedule your massage. I do have a Valentine's Day special going on where you can get a 60-minute sweetest massage and a 30-minute foot bath. Please, guys, reach out to me in the comments section or in email to reach out for a medical massage. Please leave any um, questions. Please answer the questions that I left for you guys. And we'll talk to you guys later.